how do you store your coloring supplies? There are so many different ways you can do it and people seem to have lots of different ideas. I'm going to share with you some of my ideas today, but I would like you to please comment below and tell me how you store your supplies or organize them, especially when you're coloring, because that can be really tricky. Um, so we're going to start today talking about pencils and markers and then just some other ideas that I have. So first I'd like to show you what I use for pencils. I have a few different ideas. I mean, you can use regular pencil cases like you'd find for, for children for school. Uh, I had this really nice one that was made for me. You can find pencil cases, the harder pencil cases like this or like boxes that open. Another option is the pencil rolls. Here's one that I got from a fancy art store, which is really nice. You can roll it all up and you can click it when you're done. Um, there are other options too. This one is actually a beautiful gift that was made for me by a friend, uh, quilted, which is, makes a really nice gift. Or you can make your own with a very simple project like this, which is made out of felt and supplies from a dollar store. And I actually made a tutorial for this, so just click here or here and watch the tutorial on how to make that. Another great gift. Another option is something like this, which is a book that opens and has a spot for each of your pencils to go in. This is a little more expensive, but it's kind of a nice treat if you want something special. When I color, I actually like my pencils to be sitting up straight. So what I'll do is I'll pick the colors that I want and I'll stick them into pockets or something that stands up straight so I can see them while I'm working on my project. Um, this I actually got from a dollar store. It's supposed to be an insert for a purse, I think. <laughs> And uh, it works really great. I like it because it's got a couple little handles so I can carry it around. I think I got it at Dollarama. Um, all my pencils go in here. And then the ones that I'm working on, again, go out in the front. And then in the middle part, it actually opens up like this and I have my erasers and my little clip-on light and different things that I use in my color too, so it's all handy. Uh, another great option is something like this, if you just want it to simply be standing up. This is one of the best finds that I have ever actually found for coloring. I got this at the dollar store and it's one of those things for making popsicles. You know, they have a little handle that sticks in the top. Does that look familiar? <laughs> but I like it because it has the separate little compartments so I can kind of separate the colors by shades or kind of organize them a little bit better so they're easier to grab as I'm coloring or easier to get a feel for what I have for the different shades or warm and cool tones as I'm coloring without having to stop. It's a really very simple, very cheap solution. Another easy idea for organizing your pencils is actually to save toilet paper rolls. These things are actually pretty genius. So what I do is like, if you grab a box, like um, you can get those photo boxes for storing photos. This is actually a, like a granola bar box. Um, or you can get a shoe box, something like that. And just stick your, um, toilet paper rolls in here and it helps your pencils just to stand up and stay organized so you could even have you could fit quite a lot in here actually you could have your gel pens and your markers and your pencil crayons you know kind of all separated in here so it's a uh, it's a really simple solution you could cover it with fabric or wrapping paper or something to make it look prettier I don't know let's talk markers so here's a simple solution that I have for storing my markers. I just stick them in a lid like this and stack them up when I'm not using them. It's nice to have markers laying flat, especially if you're not sure how to store the ones you have. Usually flat's the best option. This is actually my favorite solution for organizing my markers, especially because it works really well for storing them, but then also um, when I'm actually coloring, I'm able to organize them the way that they're in here. So what I've done is I've actually got these little containers from Ikea, which you can kind of hang off the side of all kinds of different things, or you can stand them up and they stand on their own. Um, and then inside I have these very fancy little plastic cups or paper cups that I got from the, again from the dollar store which helps to organize where things are sitting inside the box and then or the tote and then I've got things kind of stick, sticking on the sides which helps me organize things so if I have blenders things like that then I'll keep them on the side so that they're easier to find. Uh, another easy one is I mean you can get lots of containers like this this is again I think dollar store or salvage center or something I also have a container like this that's collapsible and then it also clips onto things so if you wanted to hang it off of something, um, depending on what your space is like where you're coloring. Uh, like say you're in a car, you could if you're in the if you're in the back seat of the car, you could hang it off of that little neck the little neck thing that 
goes behind the driver and then there's the two little <laughs> metal things you can tell me what I'm talking about. And you can hang it off of that so that you can stick all your pe Anyway, never mind. Uh, another solution is something like this. Again, if you wanted to organize it better, you can stick cups or um, toilet paper rolls <laughs> in there to organize your pencils. Um, what else do I have for you? Oh, lots of different things. Again, very classy. I highly recommend this one. <laughs> um, and then something like this, so you can get these ones. Again, dollar store. I'm starting to feel like I hang out at the dollar store too much. Uh, but it's kind of nice because you can organize stuff again. Something like this is um, like all the locker organizer things you can find for kids with the magnets on them. Again, it depends on what your space is like where you're coloring, but that could be really handy. Plus it stands on its own. So that's it. I hope that that was helpful for you and gave you some ideas. Again, please comment. Let me know how, let me know how you organize your stuff. And um, if you have any ideas of tutorials that you'd like to see me do, I'm happy to create some more things for you to give you more ideas. But remember, you can see this one in a tutorial. And um, yeah, so please, if you like this, please remember to subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my blog. And you, I'll keep making these videos for you and we'll keep learning together. Cool. I'm Crystal Salomon and remember, it's okay to color outside the lines. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh.